Now, Australian abalone is considered a luxury item in many countries, including China, where a kilo of a wild abalone can sell for hundreds of dollars. Producers in Australia believe the free trade agreement between the two countries will make this highly sought after a seafood even more profitable. Now, CCTV's Greg Navarro explains. In the South Australia city of Port Lincoln, it's easy to see what drives the area's economy. Port Lincoln is home to the country's largest commercial fishing fleet. These abalone would be somewhere from five to six years, I would say. And a prominent producer of one of the seafood industry's most prized commodities. It's one of the most lucrative um, seafood species that you could find around, around the world. Wild abalone can sell for more than $200 per kilo. And these days, the biggest demand comes from China. It's been the market that's been willing to pay the highest price for our product. Um, so that's where we want the, the abalone to go. Um, you know, it's, it's got a growing middle class, a, a growing consumer base that's looking for luxury products. Um, and that's where abalone fits. Most of the abalone coming off the waters here in Port Lincoln ends up going overseas. But a very small percentage of that actually gets exported directly to mainland China. That's because the industry says high tariffs and strict regulations make direct exports to the Chinese mainland difficult and expensive. So traditionally, um, the product has been landed in Hong Kong or Vietnam or other territories nearby um, at, on the instruction of our China customers. And once it arrives there, it's out of our hands and, and they move it what, via what we call the grey channel into mainland China. Western abalone has relied heavily on exports to countries including Japan and Singapore since the company's start in the 1980s. It's been reluctant to include China's mainland in the past because of trade barriers. But General Manager Kane Williams says Australia free trade agreement and the lowering of tariffs has prompted the company to broaden its export strategy. I think the potential is massive and the risk for us is needing to balance supply more than anything. Industry analysts say a limited supply and rising demand will only drive abalone's price even higher. Abalone makes up a relatively small portion of South Australia's seafood industry, but the benefits from its success are wide-reaching. Abalone, as well as our, our lobster, um, is the sort of shining light of our seafood industry. An industry that's largely dependent on exports and proudly aware of its value to the region. Greg Nabarro, CCTV. Port Lincoln.